What's up, y'all? Let's get straight into it. Outside, once again, the rain has ceased for a minute. It's absolutely beautiful in South Florida. I just have a simple question for my folks today, my black poles. Did Jada and Will Smith run the greatest marketing campaign of 2023? Was this all staged? My people, I believe you all have been bamboozled, hoodwinked, led astray, and your emotional strings have been pulled. Let me further explain what I'm talking about. As a black author, Well, I'm trying to film, but the birds and my mango trees are going off. That can only mean one thing. It's a chicken hawk up there. It's up there robbing eggs. That's why they crying. There he is. <laughs> I do it. I do it. I do it. Damn chicken hawk. Okay, let me get back to it. As a black author and an independent book publisher, I know how difficult it is to sell a book. It doesn't matter if you're a celebrity or not. It's a daunting task. It's a badge of honor, actually to be a black book author. Okay, he gone. And one of the biggest challenges of being a black author is marketing. Now I want you to peek game how this was not only a brilliant marketing campaign, but she also helped clean up Will Smith's image as well. Unless a lot of us forgot, Will Smith had pretty much been canceled in the black community after he slapped the shit out of Chris Rock at the Oscars. When they brought Will Smith back, the first movie he was in, he had to play a slave. That let you know how far he had fallen. Major franchises, such as Bad Boys, went up in smoke. Until this marketing campaign started for this book. Now, people are actually feeling sorry for Will Smith. Due to how Jada Pickett Smith ran his name in the mud. You forgot about him slapping the shit out of Chris Rock. Not only that, you feel like he was justified now with Jada Pickett Smith telling you that Chris Rock was trying to holler at her, allegedly, when they had divorce talks going on. Wow. At the climax of this marketing campaign for the book Worthy, here comes Will Smith strolling in, telling everybody, I approve of everything she basically saying. Whether my wife does or a strange wife, I'm completely okay with it. This woman is the love of my life. Now you've been hearing talks of them rekindling their relationship, getting back on track after being on a six year hiatus from their marriage, apparently. From a business standpoint, a black author myself, I thought that was absolutely brilliant. This incredible marketing campaign they just ran. I'm being neutral in this. I'm not taking a side. Like I said, I'm just looking at it from a business perspective. Absolutely brilliant. That book is definitely guaranteed to become a New York Times bestseller. That's what every author tries to achieve. Is that goal, the New York Times bestseller. So for such a elaborate marketing campaign to be put out and no one recognized it, I say this is one of the biggest finesses of the year. Now, it's a flip side of that coin. Me, as a black author and an independent publisher, would I have done that? Hell no. Not in a million years would I expose my family, 
my life, my journey, my struggle in such a negative way. It's a way to express those things like I did in Reporter from Hell and still put a pseudonym on the character's name, Isaiah King, and do it with class. You understand? And that is based on true events. The things that happened in that book, a lot of them didn't actually happen. They were shells for things that actually took place in real life. Because to be completely honest with you, the real story is way more tragic and way more real than that. And at the same token, way more blessed than that book can ever show you. It's just life. You take the good with the bad. I love my neighborhood. I can't get over the damn chicken hawk <laughs> up there robbing eggs, man. I knew that was a chicken hawk. I knew it. I knew it. But anyway, yeah, I couldn't expose myself like that. But let me know what you think. Do you think this was just a genuine tell-all, be-all confession from Jada Pickett Smith? Or was this all staged by both of them to help clean up Will Smith's image, which he has done at this point? and help her sell books, which is definitely have done. And straight up, you know, she's been a B-list celebrity for years, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with being a B-list celebrity. I wouldn't want to be an A-list celebrity. Hell, I'm more like a, hell, I don't know, a Z-list celebrity. <laughs> Underground, you understand? But hey, I'm blessed what I do, bringing the pole, what they need, the product of empowerment, but I am very blessed where I'm at in my journey, you know what I'm saying? I keep marketing, organic marketing, and doing things the right way with integrity, with standards. You know, that reminds me of something, of what Sergeant First Class Gibson told me when I was in the Army. The standard is the standard is the standard. And that's how I feel about anything that I write or publish. I can't do things for sales. I can't sell my soul for sales. I just can't do it. It's gotta be a standard over here. But congratulations to them two. They literally took out two birds with one stone. We all got cleaned up. And Jada Pickett Smith, New York Times bestseller. Thank you for tuning in. God bless. One team.